Hey everyone, welcome to Celestron's YouTube channel. My name is Dave Farina from CosmosSafari.com. I'm excited to share some tips on making the most of the upcoming total solar eclipse on April 8th, 2024. This will be a fantastic event. With some preparation, you can experience it to the fullest. Now you might wonder, what is a total solar eclipse and why is it such a big deal? Well, let's dive in and explore the science behind it. A total solar eclipse occurs when the moon passes between the sun and the earth, blocking out the light of the sun and casting a shadow onto the earth. The moon's shadow comprises two parts, the umbra and the penumbra. The umbra, or darkest part of the shadow, is where people can see the total eclipse. The penumbra is the lighter part of the shadow that surrounds the umbra and is where people can see a partial eclipse. Now let me ask you all a question. Why do you think the moon doesn't block out the sun every month? The moon's orbit is also tilted compared to the Earth's orbit around the sun. As a result, the moon's shadow is sometimes higher than the Earth or lower than the Earth. An eclipse is possible only at two locations along its orbit, known as the nodes. Additionally, the moon's orbit around the Earth isn't a perfect circle. It's an ellipse, which means that sometimes it's farther away from the Earth and sometimes it's closer. When the moon is closer to the Earth, it appears larger in the sky and can entirely block out the sun, creating a total solar eclipse. At its farthest distance, the moon is not sufficiently large enough to cover the entire sun, resulting in an annular eclipse like the one on October 14th, 2023. Tip number one. Plan to find a good location and get a good spot. The day of the eclipse will be a busy one with many people traveling to see it. Plan where you'll be viewing it from and when you must arrive. Identifying a good location and getting a good spot requires considering a few factors. The April 8th, 2024 total solar eclipse will stretch from Texas to Maine, and there will be many places to view it. Do some research and choose a location that will offer you the best chance to see the eclipse within the line of totality. Having an unobstructed view of the eclipse is essential, so make sure to scout out a location in advance that is free of trees, buildings, and other obstructions. Using a street view in maps to determine what the landscape looks like is a good idea. Determine how high the eclipse will be above the horizon using the Sky Portal astronomy software included in the purchase of your Celestron telescope. Consider going to a high point, such as a hill or a mountain, to get a better view. And find some lovely scenery to enjoy while you watch the eclipse. Tip number two, check the weather. Unfortunately, clouds can ruin your eclipse viewing experience. So watching the weather forecast leading up to the day of an eclipse is essential. If possible, have a backup plan or location if the weather doesn't cooperate. I suggest choosing at least two locations along the path of totality, at least three to five hours apart. Choose two to three days in advance before the eclipse using the weather forecast to determine which location provides the best potential for clear skies. Tip number three, protect your eyes. Looking directly at the sun can cause permanent eye damage or even blindness. So wearing proper eye protection is essential. I recommend using Celestron's Eclipse Smart Solar Shades or Solar Eclipse Glasses, which are ISO compliant and provide safe viewing of the sun during the eclipse. Celestron offers so many different ways to safely enjoy the eclipse. Eclipse Smart products include solar filters, solar shades, travel telescopes, solar binoculars, 2X magnifiers, and a solar eclipse guidebook to help enhance your viewing experience. I love Celestron's dedication to providing high quality optics and ensuring customers have the best experience possible. Tip number four, use proper equipment. Using a telescope or binoculars can enhance the experience. Consider using the Eclipse Smart 50 millimeter travel telescope or the Eclipse Smart 2X magnifiers. Tip number five, have fun and share your experience. This is a rare and exciting event, so make sure that you make the most of it by enjoying the moment and taking in a unique life experience. 
Don't forget to take plenty of photos and videos to share with your friends and family on social media. You can even submit your photos to Celestron's social media channels for a chance to be featured on their page and using the hashtag EclipseSmart. And that's my top five tips for the April 8th, 2024 total solar eclipse. I hope you find this video has been helpful and don't forget to check out my website, cosmosafari.com for even more tips and tricks on astronomy and astrophotography. Thanks for watching. I'm Dave Farina, and on behalf of Celestron, keep looking up. <laughs>